Hey everybody, uh, what we're doing is uh, I'm working on my uh, my Milwaukee mid torque. Okay, this is a 2860 with the pinned intent, and what I did was I ordered a uh, a friction ring to take its place. So, because this has been like you know, it's not very helpful. So what I did was so T10s. I'm just going to just work my way around here. And take the uh, T10s out of here. There's a couple deep ones, but I'm just gonna take those out. Okay. Hopefully, we don't lose any. Oops, I should take the battery out. Okay, remove the battery. And then take the side apart so we can get the other part. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to organize the uh, uh -huh, the screws so that I don't... and then the other one over here is a T25 for these uh, these other... Uh, for the front of it. also a good time for me to clean these up because well you know I've used them for I've used it for a very long time so I'm just gonna organize it like that all right and then the side cover should come loose now oops wrong size okay I believe yep that's all good all right so and these two are really the longer ones, uh, so you need really a thin, shallow one to get into that. But the other ones, uh, they weren't a problem. Uh, keep your screws organized so you know which one is which. But I think it should just come apart. Let's see, right here. Okay. Since I took that apart, it should just come right apart. There we go. Just take your time, just go around. There we go. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to try to disturb as little as possible. I took the cover off. I'm going to try to put the screws right back where they came out of so I know exactly where it goes. Okay. And so we don't mess up. And then the next part we have to separate is this. And there's the pin. Okay. So we want to try not to disturb anything and try to get this assembly apart. So just pick it up and slide it out just like that. And then the next part would be to slide this apart. Or this part. Well, it's supposed to come apart. Come on. Let me get a little mallet. Soft face mallet. So this should come apart. There we go. Soft face mallet. And I'm going to get a rag to clean that up. Okay. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to keep everything together. Because the only thing I, I need, okay, so that stays there. And we're probably going to add a little more grease to that, okay? But that goes in there, right there, and then here it is. And then with the bearing, with the uh, with the bearing in it. So that's it, okay? So then there's supposed to be a, a ball in here. There's no ball in there, so I'll have to probably use the old one. So okay, so that's what you get for ordering it from eBay, I guess. I don't know. There's no ball, so I'm going to try to take this ball out of here. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm going to shoot a little grease in here, a little bit of lithium grease, okay, and then drop the ball right in there and let it, let it harden, okay, and then, yeah, that grease looks good, so I'm just, I just shot a little bit, got the, uh, the, the ball to sit in there, okay. Okay, I'm just going to use a rag to clean up all this dirt and then I'm going to add a little bit of grease in there. Okay. And we're going to 
drop that back in. All right, so I put the plastic ring back in, coat it with a little bit of grease, a little liquid. I'm adding some to the inside. All right, then we take, we take that with the ball, make sure that doesn't fall out. And then I'm going to slide it in, make sure it's sitting in the same place, okay? And then, and maybe I'll add a little more grease to that. bit of grease to that we'll put this make sure the ball doesn't move put that back in and I'm gonna put it back into the cover just like to get it out and get it home just like that there we go you heard that snap because the rubber ring the the ring passed so now we're gonna pick it up okay and that goes on top like that we gotta line up this find the home for it all those gears there we go and then line up the pin because I didn't move it so the pin should be in the right place and then drop it back into place here okay so wait a second okay this has got to go 90 degrees okay oops okay get that gunk off of there okay off there. Oh, that looks kind of nasty, doesn't it? Let's wipe that off just a little bit. On that bearing surface, I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit because it looks like it's nasty. But otherwise, it's good. Okay, so line that back up again. Just feel for it, and it should. You're going to find it. There we go. And then that's going to go down like that. And there we go. And it goes, and it should seat right back in once you line everything up. So I still gotta line it up. It's not perfectly aligned. There we go. And then the bearing on the back side should fit. Okay. Yeah, okay, wait a second. I think it needs to go in just a hair more. Okay, there we go. So that doesn't want to seat in there. Come on. There we go. Now it's down. Okay. Just like that. All right. I'm going to wipe this off just a little bit. I'm not doing anything else. Okay. That's it. We're not touching anything else. And you can tell by the look of it, it's been well used. Okay. So we're going to put this back on the cover very carefully, lining everything up like so and get it to clap in. Okay, and then get this side to line up. There we go, and that to line up. And then we're just going to start in the middle. I'll, I'm going to start right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go here. And then over here, and the ones over here, and over here, okay, and I'm not doing it very hard, so, and then that one, okay, those are done, now we got to put the one, oops, Drop the camera, my bad. We'll have to edit that out. Okay, so we're gonna put these in here. Okay. Back into the same places they came out of. And I'm gonna change the bit to a little larger one so we can do that. Check, make sure it's all good. I think that's good. And let's put a battery in it and check it out. Let's see. 
There we go. It works. And in reverse. Forward. And let's put a socket on it and see how it works, okay? So that's a true test. And so now with the friction ring, you should just be able to slide a socket on. It'll stay. And then you can just pull it right off like that. Beautiful. All right, guys. There's another project. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, have a great day, okay? We'll see you again in the next video. Take care now.